the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the way that the borders of this field set work. So what the text right here is saying is that it's nice to see the sections all together here, but it's really not necessary for the final product. So what we can do is we can target the field set, all of them, and then we can remove the border. So the way we're going to do that, we're just going to do border and then none. And there they disappear. And the next thing that we can do is um, we want to remove all the padding. So we want to remove, we only want to have padding on the top and the bottom, but we don't want to have any on the left and right. So we can actually just do this um, without doing padding dash top, padding dash bottom. We can just use one padding right here and use a kind of short code. So what we're going to do is we're going to do um, the, the first, we could just do two things. So if there's zero and zero, the first zero is going to affect the top and the bottom, and the second one's going to do right and left. So right and left, we want zero, but top and bottom, we want two REM. And there we go. For this next step, we want to give, um, we do want to um, differentiate between sections. So we'll just add um, something to the bottom. So we can just add this line. And there you can see a little, a little section uh, that differentiates between um, everything. But you can see, oh, this one doesn't look quite the way we want it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this pseudo class, um, which is really we're just going to target the last, the last field set. So field set, and then we do colon last dash of dash type. Now this is only going to affect the very last field set. So we can just do border dash bottom none. And if we scroll back over here, that line that we didn't want is gone. Next, we want to make sure that this label is always kind of on a, on a different line from something like this. And so we are going, and no matter how, so if we had more width here, I think, yeah, they would all go onto the same line. So we want is it always to be on two lines like this. It looks a little bit more uniform. So we're going to just target all input, text, area, and select elements. And then we want to make them take the full width. So width 100%. Okay, so there we go. That's one part. And now um, we're going to add some margin. So we can use that same short code that we used for padding and, if, and it works just the same with margin. And so we only want to affect the top. So we have to have four things. And the way the order goes is it's the first, oops, the first zero is going to affect top, then right, then bottom, then left. So we only want to change um, the top. So we'll just do 10 pixels. And then now we have some increased margin. Finally, if you might have noticed, this does not look right. That is not how we want it. We don't want them to be on different lines. We want the uh, the radio buttons to be right here and right here, and the checkbox to be right here. So we're going to add a special class to these elements. It's called inline, because we don't want them to be on different lines. So let's go and make this class. So we're going to target by dot inline. And then we want width on set. And now it doesn't say take up 100% anymore. But just for anything with the class inline. And then now we do want to have some margin. And again, we can have those four zeros. So top right, which is the one we want to affect. So 0.5. EM, and then everything else is zero. Now, if you look over here, it's not perfectly vertically aligned. You'll be able to see once we make the change that it looks just slightly a little bit better. I don't even know if it looks better, but they say it does. So whatever. Um, I believe you free code camp. And then um, we want to change. We don't want this white. It's a little bit too much. We want to, we're doing a dark theme here. So what we're going to do is we're going to just 
change that just a little bit and we're going to affect the input and text area these are the places we're able to just type in text like like this and so we're going to change the way these look so we're going to change the background color something a little bit darker than the background so 0a 0a 2 3 there you go you see it. it's darker but that border looks really bad so um we are going to do we're going to give it a better color which is the same color that we just did and now it's going to blend in but we want to make sure we do the correct dimension so we want it to be one pixel solid and there we go all right and now if we want to type in some text you can't see anything that's because the color is black and it's really hard to see with that dark color so we have to change the color of the text to FFF. And that's that's actually a shorthand for um, this whole thing. If you just do one, it just repeats that one for, for two. So that's a shorthand that actually works. Um, and then we can set the min height to 2 EM. And now if we type in, we can see it. 